Okay, I'm going to do some steam casting. This is my first time. I found um, somebody on the internet. kind of had some instructions. So, so I'm going to kind of explain what I did here. This is my wax ring that I made um, for a piece of turquoise that I found on the beach. Let's see, it just kind of lays right in the top there. And I carved it at home with some jeweler's wax. Five dollars for some jeweler's wax here to carve your own ring. You know, you need to buy some tools and stuff to carve it, like Dremel and sharp little tools. So anyways, so what I did was is I attached my ring by melting a piece of... This is a half inch piece of uh, eight gauge wire. It's wax wire. It's eight gauge. And at the last fourth of an inch, I split it. Like with a knife, I cut it to make two wire little holes there. And I, I took some candle wax and I melted it on the top of some Play-Doh here. I melted it on there so that when I attach the ring to the wax, to the um, Play-Doh, it's easy. All I have to do is melt the this candle wax with my little wax pin here or, you know, a hot wire or whatever you have. Here's my wax pin. See the tip heats up and you, you melt whatever you want, the wax or whatever. And I made my little base. I It's about a half inch high. The sides taper down and it's flat on top. You don't want it to be any deeper than a half an inch because then it will be too deep because that's going to be, in the end, it's going to be your crucible. So you put it on tin foil. I put my little tomato paste can over it. So you'll see that in there, there's about a fourth of an inch. So that the actual Play-Doh isn't touching the can. So then I'm going to take my rubber band here. I'm going to tie the um, tin foil around my can. And then I'm going to mix up some investment right now. Satin 20 investment. Buy it online or jeweler supply store. And then I'm going to dump it in there. I'm going to let it sit overnight. And then tomorrow I'm going to burn it on, burn it out with my little ghetto at home kiln that I made, which I'll show you. And, um, and then I'm going to melt the uh, silver and steam cast it into there. And then I'm going to show you how to do that in the next video. So I can't do it right this second. So, what you need. 8 gauge wire. Uh, you need to make your wax ring or whatever you plan on making. Some Play-Doh or clay to make your little base here. And it needs to be just like this. Half inch high. Tapered edges and um, flat on top and then when it goes into your can you gotta have about a fourth of an inch of space around the whole thing you can see around the whole thing so it's not touching I'll explain later why these things are important okay so I'll um, show you the next steps Let's get next casting. video <laughs> over and out